السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وزد على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ومولانا محمد respected audience beloved brothers and sisters in this blessed morning alhamdulillah we are talking about quran and i am assigned to talk about surah uh, juz 15 juz 15 uh, laps over two important surah which are surah al kahf before that surah isra being quran as the kalam of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we can find a lot of Quranic ayat which can be considered as a self-introduction of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the same vein, we can also find uh, Quran being a kitab, a book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Quran also comprises of Quran ayats which are somehow self-introduction of Quran. So in the first phase of this talk, I would like to talk about what are the Quranic ayats which are uh, included in Surah Isra as well as Surah Al-Kahf about Quran. Number one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, Inna hadha al-Quran yahdi lillati hiya aqwam. Surely this Quran guides towards the what is the most upright. Not the upright, what is the most upright. So Quran is a book towards the the most upright deeds, mustaqim, surat mustaqim. In another verse, Quran uh, we can say, "Wakul kul ja al haq, wakul ja al haq." Truth has come. Wazhaq al baatil, and the falsehood has vanished. Indeed, falsehood is born to vanish. In al baatil akan zahuka. In another, all these verses are from Surah uh, Isra. So this is from uh, Juzu 15. وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ The Quran reveals what is healing and mercy to the believers. So Quran gives the mercy and rahmah for us. In another verse, uh, verse number 41 Quran has surely varied the signs in this Quran for the tadkira for example this talk is a tadkira for me and for my brothers and sisters the Quran is a tadkira وَلَقَدْ صَرَّفْنَا فِي هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ لِلنَّاسِ مِنْ كُلِّ مثل. this is in Surah Al-Kahf we have certainly diversified in this Quran for the people every example every example we can find but men usually are prone towards jadal jadal means uh, controversies and disputes so Juz 15 begins with Surah Isra which is Surah 17 if we look at the gradation of Surah in Al Quran we can find the first seven Surah sketches over the spiritual history of the human being the from 8 to 16 Quran gives in general which revolves around the formation of a ummah an organized community for a purpose kuntum khaira ummah then when we come to uh, surah number 17 which is the beginning of surah uh, juz 15 we can see so many fresh stories about Anbiya that touches on the spiritual individual journey or individual spiritual growth of a human being. For example, the Surah Isra begins with Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Subhan al-Ladhi asra bi'abdihi Laylam min al masjid al haram ila al masjid al aqsa. Min al masjid al haram ila al masjid al aqsa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took or transported our beloved al Habib al Mustafa al Mujtaba Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is a journey. And our daily prayer is explained as a salatu mi'raj al mu'min. After Isra, there was a mi'raj, night ascension to the seventh uh, sky and meeting the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
But one thing which would be very interesting, this is this Isra and Miraj is a one of the highest uh, one of the highest miracles or the inimitable events happened in the life of our beloved Al Habib Al Mustafa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But the word Allah use Subhan Al Asra Bi Abdihi with his seven. For a human being, the sublimest destination of his uh, spiritual exertion and spiritual journey is to be the abd. So to be the abd is very, very important destination. Our goal, our niya should be to become the abd. We are in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is every time whenever we pray, we say Allahu Akbar, you are the greatest. That means I personally, I, we, everybody needs your help. Now, if uh, I focus, we have a very limited time. If I focus uh, on three points, which we can extract from Surah Al-Isra and Surah Al-Kahf. Surah Al-Isra repeatedly uh, emphasize on the importance of moral, personal responsibility. You, me, we, each one of us will be accountable for our actions. For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, In ahsantum, ahsantum li anfusikum, wa in asa'tum falaha. If you do good, it's for you. If you act rightly, it is for your own good. If you take wrong, if you do wrong, it is your own loss. Another Quranic verse is very important. Whoever chooses to be guided, it is no, it is only for their own good. If I am doing good, if I am getting huda, who is the first immediate, the core responsible beneficiary I am likewise you so you are so we have to do good al hidayah then the the, uh, the frequently repeated quoted verse nobody will be uh, has to be the burden of another you do good you get that if somebody has, has done something bad he has to be the responsibility. In another verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Woman arad al akhira wa sa'a laha sa'iha wa huwa mu'min fa ulaika kana sa'ihum mashkura. Anybody exert their energy, their capability, their time, their money for the hereafter, they will be rewarded for that and their uh, efforts will be mashkur. It will be rewarded and appreciated. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala again say وَرَبُّكُمْ أَعْلَمُ بِمَا فِي نُفُوسِكُمْ Allah knows what is hidden in our hearts. When we come to the Surah Al-Kahf, that is the next Surah which is recommended to recite every Friday. Alhamdulillah, we are doing that. May Allah qabool from all of us. Kahf means cave and it talks, it begins with the story of Ashab Al-Kahf, companions of the cave. The story provokes our thoughts about the brevity of life, uncertainty of the life, mis mysterious nature of the life. People who slept, uh, some people say it's 300, more, more than 300 years, they woke up, they say, we just slept half a half day. We just lay one day, half day. So the mysterious nature of life, we can extract three lessons uh, from this. Many lessons, if I focus on, on very, very uh, brief one, one important message Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say do not engage yourself do not indulge in any un unnecessary controversies and disputes at the expense of forgetting the real core message for example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala specifically mentioned about they, they will be talking about how many days they they slept how many people they were Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say Qalu rabbukum a'lamu bima How many years? Allah knows the best. 
then how many uh, how many were there the, the the companions were there four five six seven finally what allah say kul you say rabbi a'lamu bi'iddatihim allah knows their number ma ya'lamuhum illa qalil fala tumari fihim do not engage in discussions about this another incident which we can see in the quranic ayah is uh, the two uh, members conversations one is very much puffed up with his worldly goods the another person is reminding about him another person say qala lahu sahibuhu wa huwa yuhawiruhu akafarta billadhi khalaqaka min turabin thumma min nutfatin thumma sawwaka rajula you forgot your lord so that is the second incident we can find and number 3 is the journey of sayyidina musa with a mysterious person some interpreter interpreters they say this is khilar this story uh, portrays in front of us uh, many lessons if i focus on three number one is limitation of the human knowledge sayyidina musa was well knowledgeable in in the society but when he meets another person he understand the limitation of the knowledge Number 2 there should be constant effort for furthering for advancing our knowledge that is also very important and one of the important lesson is the paradox of the life which may look like something as a gain may be a loss which may look like something a loss which may be a gain a profit loss or profit so many messages are there Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Quran for us we have to read Quran as it is revealed to me and you not for others may Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala open our hearts to the immense and uh, uh, deep knowledge profound knowledge ingrained in holy Quran wa barakallahu fikum wa jazakumullah ahsana ahsana jaza wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillahirabbil alamin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah